Hi, I'm Shane with eTower.com. Today you're going to be taking a look at the Red Arc Manager 30 Power Management System. Adding a system like this with your solar panels is going to allow you to monitor the use of your batteries, whether that's charging your batteries or the usage of them. On a typical install of a solar panel kit, it's going to allow you to charge your batteries to 80%. The benefit of this system is going to allow you to charge those batteries at extra 20% to give you that 100% of charge. So if you're off grid somewhere, you don't have that 110 or 120 volt hookup, this is gonna allow you to stay off grid a lot longer. Something I really like about this setup, it's gonna basically have six products in one. You're gonna have your DC to DC charger. Um, you have your 110 volt charging or 120 volt. So if you're hooked up at a campsite and you're able to, it's also gonna allow you to charge your batteries from that. Uh, you have your solar regulator, so it's going to regulate how much solar power you're bringing in. Uh, you have your battery isolator, and what that is, is it's going to isolate when you're hooked up to your vehicle. It's going to isolate your battery so there's no back feed going back to the vehicle itself. You also have your load disconnect, so if your batteries get to that 100% charge, or uh, that maybe you're not hooked up to your truck and it goes to that 80% charge, it's not going to overcharge your batteries. You also have um, the remote, which is this right here. This remote allows you to monitor all of that, whether you're putting power into the batteries or taking power out, putting them into the camper themselves, whether it's lighting or any of the uh, other items you may be using inside the camper. Another really nice feature about this uh, system is in the settings, you're gonna have a touring mode and you're gonna have a storage mode. Uh, the touring mode is while you're using your camper, RV uh, trailer, whatever it may be, it's gonna allow you to maintain the charging on your batteries, whether that's through the 110 uh, hookup or through your solar panel or by your truck. There's also a storage mode. So when you're done using your camper, RV, or whatever it is for the year, you put it in storage. Uh, the system is gonna maintain a charge on your batteries. So you're not going to have to mess with it. When you come back to use your camper, you know it's going to be ready to go. It's also going to allow us to use different types of batteries. So if we have gel batteries, uh, AGM batteries, lead acid batteries, calcium, and lithium batteries. This is going to be our main unit that allows us to get the power to our batteries and maintain that charge. This is going to be our monitor. This allows us to actually watch the charging or removal of any power coming from our batteries. We're gonna have our power wire from our solar panel going into the unit. We're gonna have power and ground coming out of the unit that goes outside. And we're gonna have our DC power coming from our vehicle. This little box here gets our information, uh, has a core that comes off the back of our screen here, runs into the box. We have a battery sensor mounted outside by our batteries that plugs into here and it runs into our unit. The unit allows us to tie all of this together to help maintain the charge on our batteries. There's a lot of settings in our control panel uh, that we can go through. Without boring you too much, I'm gonna go through just a few important ones. You can find the rest of them in your owner's manual. Here we're gonna have our main screen. It's gonna give us our day, our date, and our time. This is gonna be a screen that allows us, you notice right up here at the top, it shows battery charge and it's calculating. So when you first hook up, uh, this is what your screen is gonna look like because what the unit is doing, it's actually reading information from your batteries. Once it finishes reading that information, then it's actually gonna show, uh, depending on how you have it set up, hours until your batteries are full. And this is going to, uh, this graph is actually going to show where the batteries are in their stage of using power. These three here, these are your input status. Uh, the top one, you can see the sun. This is telling you uh, your solar power, how much solar power is being brought in. This is when you're plugged into your 110, 110 volt. You notice the two that we're not using right now, they have a little circle uh, with a line through them. That's showing that those two are not hooked up. The 110 is showing that it's open, but that's what we're using. Once we hook up to one or the other, hook up to our vehicle, it's actually going to do the same thing. I'll remove the circle. And it's only gonna use two of them at one time. So 
Uh, obviously, if you're driving, the 110 is not going to be hooked up. This is going to be your output status, so your battery management system is showing what the output is doing. Uh, you notice the little arrows, it's showing the arrows what it's pointing to. So if we unhook from our 110, we went to this screen, it actually be this arrow would switch directions and come back the other way. This is where our mode is, uh, the charging status. Our mode, we're in touring right now because we're using our camper. Uh, this would change when we change our mode to our storage mode. This allows you to select your battery type. This allows you to select your amp hours. This is gonna tell you, uh, this screen, this confirmation screen, tells you're old and new, uh, and tells you what amp hours you have it set at. So we have lead acid batteries, 140 amp hours, because we, we have two of them tied together, those are the two we want to charge. Each one is at 70. Now once you get to this screen, in order to get out of it, uh, if you look at this screen, this allows you to set up your actual panel here itself. This is advanced setting, so you can go in and you can change, um, you can change your screen color or the brightness and contrast of it. Uh, there's many different settings in here. Like I said, I don't want to bore you with all of them, but this is how you get to those. This is your factory settings. Uh, so you can reset the whole thing if maybe if you change batteries, go to a different type of battery, you're able to go into the factory settings, reset it to factory settings so that you can go right back in and change it all to uh, whatever you need to change it to. And when you first install this, uh, you're going to have to plug into 110 outlet. The reason is, is it needs to know what kind of batteries you have. If it doesn't know any of that information, this is not going to come on. There's going to be three screens. You're going to have your date, you're going to have your time, and you're going to have your battery. The battery one is the most important one. It's going to, uh, you're going to put in the information of what type of batteries you have. Once you have that in and you unplug from 110, this unit is going to stay on. It's going to allow you to monitor and maintain your battery charge. Uh, we're using lead batteries and you want to get the amp hours off the battery. If you look on top, there should be a sticker like this. Right at the bottom, this sticker, real small writing, it's going to tell you the amp hours. We're going to be using two batteries for our camper. We have them uh, tied together. So in our screen and our panel, we actually have it set up for 140, so we'll charge both of them to uh, the maximum capacity. Once you've got everything set up, you're ready to go camping. Again, I'm Shane with HR.com. That's gonna complete our look at the Red Arc Manager 30 Power Management System.